up, America? Good morning. And welcome, friends, to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your health and to your well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we're here for you on the bright side. We welcome your calls at 855-660-4261. If you have questions about ingredients, prescription medicine, the longevity products, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, again, 855-660-4261 is your number. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised on the program or that you hear us recommend, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also head over to my website, brightsideben.com. You can take a look at the shopping cart. It's a pull-down, and it's got all the products up there that you hear us, uh, hear us recommend or you hear advertised on the program. You can also click on the Join the Team link and start yourself a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, and help Join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program for a one-time $10 fee. You can join the Brightside Ben team and get your products at the wholesale price, help spread the word, and even make a little money while you're doing it. And some folks are making a lot of money, all for a one-time $10 fee. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com. Click on the Join the Team link, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. All right, thank you so much for joining us on the Bright Side. We are talking about water trapping, the water trapping property of sugars. We'll be talking about the water trapping properties of proteins here in a little bit. Water trapping is a sponge-like effect that biochemicals have. They trap water. This is called hygroscopicity. Hygroscopic substances absorb water. Sugar is the classic hygroscopic substance. You put sugar in water and you watch it dissolve. That's a, an example of what a molecule or what a substance looks like when it is hygroscopic or when it interacts with water hygroscopically. Sugars keep your skin moist and soft. An interaction between sugars and water in the lower part of your skin is what keeps your skin hydrated and moisturized. Your joints are lubricated via this hygroscopic effect. So are your eyes, your eyeballs. The, the fluid in your eyeball stays trapped via a hygroscopic effect between water and something we talked about yesterday called high aluronic acid. Many folks have heard of high aluronic acid. High aluronic acid's ability to trap moisture keeps water local in joints and the eyeballs. It also makes a water act, it, it turns water ordinary liquid into a very effective shock absorber. In fact, water can turn into a shock absorber in the skin via this interaction between hyaluronic acid and the water molecules, between the hyaluronic acid molecules and the water molecules. Yesterday we talked about how you can use hyaluronic acid 
to make your own skincare products. You can get some hyaluronic acid capsules, open them up, and put them in some water. You can spray that water in your skin. It makes a great moisturizer. Or you can add that water to your favorite moisturizing lotion or moisturizing eye cream, and it can turn a ordinarily inexpensive and ordinarily ineffective moisturizer into a a real effective moisturizer via this hyaluronic acid. You can add hyaluronic acid to aloe vera juice, and aloe vera has got some hydroxy acids that can help you exfoliate or smooth your skin out. There's uh, zinc in in, uh, aloe vera juice, and the combination of zinc and hydroxy acids and hyaluronic acid can turn ordinary aloe into a pretty darn effective moisturizer and skin treatment product. You don't want to use too much hyaluronic acid because uh, in aloe or in liquid, if you're going to add it to water, because hyaluronic acid can be a little bit sticky. You can also make lemon water or uh, uh, take some lemon and, and uh, add it to water and make a lemon water toner and add a little hyaluronic acid. You can add a little green tea in there and you'll get some antioxidant effects. And you'll be able to take the alpha hydroxy acid, the, the citric acid in the, lemon, in the lemon and use it into an exfoliating product. These are all really neat skincare products that you can use at home or you can make at home. You can do the same thing with Bragg's apple cider vinegar. You'll get minerals. Of course, the Bragg's apple cider vinegar can smell a little little, little nasty, actually, but the minerals and the acetic acid in the vinegar and the hyaluronic acid, if you add it in there, will make your skin super soft and smooth. And then you can also use hyaluronic acid in apple cider vinegar and aloe to make a great skin conditioner. You put some uh, hyaluronic acid capsules in some lemon water or some aloe, and then you uh, stir it up and form into a, a kind of viscous or sort, sort of sticky kind of liquid with a little bit of body. You put it on your hair in the shower. It'll cut through your conditioner, and the water-trapping properties of the hyaluronic acid will add some softness to your hair. You can do it with apple cider vinegar if you can handle the smell, apple cider vinegar, because the minerals can be really moisturizing. But if you don't like the smell, you can use... Uh, the Tropic Sensation Aloe product from Longevity. You can use the Noni Juice product from Longevity. You can use lemon juice, too. All of this will cut through conditioner and make your skin really soft, or make your hair really soft. Make your skin really soft, too. So hygroscopicity, or water trapping, is a prized quality in skincare, And it's not just gums and polysaccharides and sugars that have this hygroscopic water trapping property. It's also amino acids and proteins. Grain proteins are particularly well-loved by skincare formulators, and you'll see wheat protein and barley protein and soy protein on lots of moisturizing products. You'll see protein as an ingredient in hair care products and shampoos and conditioners as well because of the same water-trapping property that we just talked about. Soy protein, by the way, is particularly hygroscopic, and because soy is a, a cash crop and a commodity, You'll see soy protein in a lot of products. You'll see a soy protein on the ingredient deck in various forms in shampoos and conditioners and moisturizers. Interestingly, gluten, which everybody's heard about by now, gluten is used in these kinds of products for, the, for its hygroscopic properties. Gluten is mega, mega, mega water trapping. It may be the most water trapping hygroscopic protein that's found in grains. Without water, gluten is harmless. When we talk about gluten intolerance and we talk about the problems associated with gluten and the stickiness associated with gluten, what we're really talking about is not so much gluten as it is the reaction between gluten and water. Just plain old dry gluten isn't going to do anything. It's just going to sit there. It's basically inert. But once you add water to your gluten, the little H2O particles, the little molecules of water, contact the little gluten Uh, gluten molecules, little gluten particles, and then the gluten becomes activated. Then the gluten will change shape, the gluten molecule will change shape, and it's the reaction between the water and the gluten that is doing this. In essence, gluten is not even a problem. It's the gluten-water complex that is so problematic. And as any good baker or baking scientist can tell you, it's gluten's water-trapping properties. It's gluten, gluten's hygroscopicity, the same quality that makes wheat and soy and barley and other grain protein ingredients moisturizing. It's this water-trapping property that has to be taken into account when you're baking with wheat or you're baking with other any other gluten-containing flour. If it weren't for the hygroscopic properties of gluten, nobody would be talking about it. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're coming back at you with more good health information right after this. Don't go away.
Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at ToBeYoungAgain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or ToBeYoungAgain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Friends, this is Alex Jones for MidasResources.com. For more than 15 years, I have exclusively used Midas Resources for all my precious metal needs. Whether it's bullion or collectibles you're looking for, Midas Resources is simply the best. I own my gold as a hedge against inflation. This Federal Reserve fiat currency could go the way of the Deutschmark and the Weimar Republic any time. In these historically dangerous times, it makes sense to physically hold gold and silver. Midas already has some of the best deals in the industry. But if you give them a call and mention the radio special, they will give you a list of the day's super specials. Midas brokers are standing by to answer all your questions at 800-686-2237. They also have a lot of informative free literature explaining the opportunities and risk of holding precious metals. They are ready to answer your questions at 800-686-2237. Again, that's 800-686-2237. Which do you love best, Thanksgiving dinner or leftovers? The meal takes such time and effort, you wish it was easier so you could have it more often. Well, right now it is. Right now you can. Imagine your family enjoying the ultimate comfort food easily during stressed out times of a disaster or emergency or outdoors while camping or hiking. The freeze-dried feast from Freeze Dry Guy is a special case of Thanksgiving dinner ready for you any day of the year for at least 25 years. Freeze-dried turkey tetrazzini, green beans, dehydrated potatoes and sweet potatoes. Yes, even dessert. This delicious feast is ready to eat when you want or need it most easily in just minutes. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. There's free shipping, plus your family could win a free traditional Thanksgiving dinner. Go now to freezedryguy.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We've got a couple lines open for you at 855-660-4261. If you've got questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or you want to share a success story or contribute to the conversation, we'd love hearing from you. 855-660-4261. 
If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products that you hear us talk about or advertise on the program, head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and take a look at our shopping cart. Or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team to purchase any products at 866-735-2470. And, of course, you can always ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team and making a little money selling Longevity products. Help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program or just get your products at the wholesale price. Offer a one-time $10 fee. Where can you start a business for for $10 and make money and, and enjoy all the benefits associated with having your own business, including tax write-offs. You can write off your home office, write off your mileage, write off your sample products, write off stamps and envelopes, whatever you use for your business. Offer a one-time $10 fee. You can find out all about it by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. All right, we're talking hygroscopicity. I love that word. Hygro, H-Y-G-R-O, scopic, S-C-O-P-I-C, water trapping. This ability of molecules to trap water is very important in biology. It's very important in the skin, very important in joints, important in the eyeballs. And as we'll come to find out here in a little bit, hygroscopicity is very, very important for the blood. Before we went to break, we were talking about gluten. Gluten is really not a problem, even though we hear about gluten all the time. What the problem is is the combination between gluten and water. Professional bakers know all about this. Professional bakers know that by adding more or less water to grains or to uh, grain flour, you can make a product more or less tough or more or less tender. Water activates gluten and creates this chewy, gluey, gluteny kind of texture. When you're making a pie crust... You don't want to add a lot of water. You don't want to add a lot of liquid because the water can react with the gluten in the flour. And you end up with a chewy crust. You, uh, you want just a tiny little bit of water when you're adding water to flour to make a pie crust because you want a nice tender crust. You want a flaky crust. The more water you add to the flour, the more reaction you're going to get between the water and the gluten and the tougher and chewier your pie crust is going to be. Not good. There's also a very important reaction between amino acids and proteins like gluten in the skin. Not per se, not, not exactly gluten, but there's a molecule that's similar to gluten called PCA. And like with gluten and water, PCA can also attract water. PCA also has a hygroscopic properties. If you look at your standard moisturizing product, your, your basic moisturizing product, most of them will have something called sodium PCA, which is a a combination of PCA and sodium. Sometimes you'll see zinc PCA or potassium PCA. And this PCA stuff is not exactly gluten, but it's kind of sort of similar to gluten, and it has a hygroscopic property. It's like your skin's natural gluten, and it'll trap water, and it's one of the ways that your skin stays hydrated and moisturized, even without a moisturizer. But moisturizer skincare companies that make moisturizers will add PCA to their skincare products. I've been working with, with PCA for decades it's a really, really effective moisturizer. You can actually get PCA sprays. Twin Labs makes a PCA spray, and you can just spray it on, mist it on your skin, and it'll have some moisturizing properties. And then we come to the blood. The blood, being 80 to 90 percent, probably closer to 90 percent water, is requires hygroscopic molecules so that the uh, blood can stay liquidy. We talked about the eyes and how eyeballs are largely water and how water is held in place by hyaluronic acid. We said the same thing about the joints and, and the skin is the same way. The skin stays hydrated and moisturized via hygroscopic molecules, hygroscopic proteins. But Probably the most important watery fluid in the body, no, definitely the most important watery fluid in the body, body is the blood. Blood is 80 to 90 percent water, and the water is kept in the blood via hygroscopic effects. There are proteins in the blood that trap that water and keep the blood nice and fluidy. Think about it. The blood is super important. It's transporting nutrients to all the tissues of the body. It's transporting oxygen to all the tissues of the body. It's removing toxins from cells and helping dump toxins out of the body. If it becomes, the blood becomes even slightly less fluid, this is a major, major, major health problem. In fact, thick, sludgy, sticky, less fluid blood may be the single most important health problem that we have to address. Certainly the wrong kinds of foods can thicken the blood. Stress and stress hormones can thicken the blood. And deficiencies in blood proteins can also thicken the blood. 
body has this really important mechanism, this hygroscopic mechanism for keeping the blood thin, for keeping the blood fluid. If the blood becomes too thick, big, big problems result. And the main mechanism, the primary mechanism for the, that the body uses to keep the blood thin, to keep blood moving and to keep oxygen being, uh, to keep oxygen delivery intact and to keep nutrient delivery intact and to keep detoxification going on. The most important protein mechanism for keeping the blood fluid so all this stuff can happen is albumin. A-L-B-U-M-I-N. Most of you have seen albumin. Most of you have heard of albumin, but we don't really talk about albumin. At least not as much as we probably should be considering that it is albumin that is the most important hygroscopic protein in the blood. If you understand that keeping the fluid and the, the fluid nature and the consistency of the blood is being super important, and you understand that albumin is the main mechanism that the body uses for keeping the fluid of the blood, the, the fluid, fluidity of the blood where it needs to be, you can relate to the fact that albumin is arguably, arguably at least, one of the most important biochemicals of the body. In my opinion, it is. I don't know if it's the most important biochemical in the body, but certainly it's right up there. Albumin levels and albumin status are a major, major marker for life and death and for an early demise. In a 2003 article that was published in the journal Annals of Surgery, hypoalbuminemia, that means low levels of albumin in the blood, were found to be a major risk factor for what they call, euphemistically called, a poor outcome from acute illness. In fact, there's lots of articles, dozens of articles, that demonstrate the link between mortality as death and morbidity, that is disease, and low levels of albumin. The blood is a carrier fluid. It carries all kinds of stuff. It carries various proteins, and it all depends on albumin for maintaining its fluidity. Albumin is like a fluid sponge. It's like a water-trapping sponge. It's a hygroscopic protein. Hygroscopic meaning water-trapping. It's a water-trapping fluid sponge. And deficiencies in albumin... Albumin is made in the liver, so any kind of problems with the liver, deficiencies in albumin secondary to problems with the liver, can cause low blood volume, and they can result in poor oxygenation to tissues, it can result in poor nourishment to tissues, and it can result in a problem with detoxification. If you're under normal conditions, when blood volume is low, albumin production in the liver will just increase. Albumin will go into the blood, and then it will track water, and then the blood volume will increase. This is a homeostatic mechanism. When your blood volume is low, more albumin is made in the liver, albumin goes into the blood, and blood volume increases. If you have any liver problems, this is not going to occur, and this is one of the main reasons why albumin levels are such an important marker for health and wellness. Hi, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We are coming back at you with your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these specials. A 14 by 21 foot shop for under 6000 or a 50 by 100 for under 30000 You heard right. That's 5000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. 
At only $29.95, fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapria e-liquid by LaSig a long time ago. LaSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiasts with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, LaSig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a vapriate at LaSig.com or call 870-525-1440, 870-525-1440. LaSig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN. Great talk radio starts here. I love this headline, adrenal suppression from topical steroids, surprisingly high. If you guys are using the topical steroid product, topical hydrocortisone, topical lidocaine, you should know that you can actually suppressing, be suppressing your adrenal glands, which is not a good thing, by using your prescription topical steroid drugs. This is from, uh, this is from MedPage Today. Prescription topical steroids may have more potential to cause adrenal suppression than many physicians realize, according to data presented at the FDA Advisory Committee hearing. This is a big problem, guys. Uh, adrenal health issues. Uh, this is uh, skincare products like Diproline AF cream and Diprosone and Clobex. These are all topical steroids that people use for itching and for rashes and for dermatitis and for eggs. Not that they do anything for these skin conditions, but they kind of suppress the immune system and they make it look like you don't have a problem when you really do. But what's worse is now you're going to be suppressing your adrenal glands. Adrenal dysfunction is, is the key to understanding degenerative disease. It's the third point on our triangle of disease, and there's no degenerative disease that is not associated with 
adrenal health problems. And now we find out that using topical steroid creams can actually have a suppressant effect on the adrenal glands. Just another example why you never want to go to a dermatologist unless you got some kind of miserable condition and you absolutely have no option but to use some kind of prescription topical cream in a, uh, uh, for a temporary, in a temporary fashion. Other than that, folks, if you are using Diperlene or Lidex or Diprosone or Betamethasone or any of these steroid drugs uh, for dermatitis or eczema or poison ivy or whatever your topical problem is, even acne, now they're using it for acne, uh, for cystic acne, you'd be well advised to get off of that stuff or at least to wean yourself off or use as little as possible. Um, first of all, you're not doing anything for your skin condition, but even worse, now we know that uh, that these topical products have a greater potential to cause adre- adrenal problems than anybody suspected, including your physician or dermatologist. And that's from MedPage Today, one of my favorite medical news websites. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number. We do have a couple lines open for you. Let's take our first phone call of the day. Um, Karen in Arizona, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, uh, my name is Karen, and uh, a couple of months ago, my son and his family were up here, and uh, my granddaughter is highly allergic, and she, they went to a dermatologist, and it was mites, and my guess is probably death mites. And of well, course, hang on, I hang on. Said, I'm not understanding. She had an allergic reaction. She went to the dermatologist, and he said it was dust mites. Is that what you said? He, well, that's why well, we're surmising because uh, because now and then they used the steroid, and now she's like you said, her immune, like you just said a few minutes ago, and uh, that's one thing I have never heard of is you know the dust mites and uh Did you ever see a picture of dust mites you want to you want to really freak out go google dust mites or youtube dust mites they're all over everybody's got dust mites there's no we live with dust mites they're in your skin they're everywhere they 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 chew up dead skin cells and if you have an allergic problem to dust mites you want to figure out why you're allergic to them because most people aren't it's not like dust mites are automatically going to cause an allergic reaction they're everywhere if dust mites cause an allergic reaction everywhere we'd all be in trouble the question is, is why are some people susceptible and other people not? So I would guess that your granddaughter has got some other health issues going on. Correct, Amundo, or wrong? Uh, well, she is. She's, you're right, because... Uh, well, hang on, Karen. I want you, hang on, and I'll, I'll let you finish here in a second, but I want you to hear, I want you to get what I just did there, okay? And I, I tease people all the time. I say, I'm not Psychic Ben, because I'm not a psychic. But what I want you to understand is that these are fundamental issues that we all deal with. If we have some kind of allergic reaction to dust mites, that means we got a, a susceptible system. And the problem isn't the dust mites, even though your doctor will give you steroid creams and will give you something to kill the dust mites, and that's how we look at the world. We have to start to focus on our own built-in problems, our own susceptibilities, our own weaknesses, our own, our own pathologies that are in the body. It's not the dust mites. It's not the external world that's the problem. It's the internal immune system. It's our internal bodies our body's internal ability to resist and i just wanted to point that out to you karen to show you that it's not like i i'm just, this is magic when i say oh you, she must have a some kind of predisposing condition she must have been sick for a while i want you to see the logic here do you understand what i'm saying karen it's not like i'm predicting or i'm I, i'm some kind of wizard and I, and I know things it's like this is how the body works if we eat a certain kind of food it's not, and we have a problem, don't blame the food. Blame your body's ability to process the food. You know what I'm saying here? If we have a dust mite problem, don't blame the dust mites. We all live with dust mites. Blame your body's uh, inability to deal with the dust mites. Blame your child's ability, inability to deal with the dust mites. And then you can start to, to address the real health issues. So does, uh, how old is your daughter? Or you said granddaughter, right? My daughter, she's uh, 14, and she's had allergies anyway from dust and pollen and right. stuff. And, she's, got, uh, she's got a compromised I, immune system. Does she yes. have like, anything going on with her digestion, or maybe you don't know? But do you know? I any? don't know. My okay. daughter-in-law is really upset with me over that. Over which part? Well, because uh, first she blamed it on fleas, and then it's to now she it's blamed my, you. She blamed yeah, you. Yeah, because oh. my dog came down with fleas. And oh, it's they, your fault. It's not not the fact that her daughter is 14 years old and has a whole history of allergies. It's your fault because you have a dog, right? 
Yes, yeah, okay. and right. yeah. Right. So right. now then, your daughter in law. Why don't you put your daughter in law on? Let me talk to her. She's not there, probably. Is she? No, she lives in California, and she okay. won't. She's a nurse. She's been. Oh, she's a nurse. nurse. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we really got a problem here because she knows everything, probably. Yeah, you, that's it, right. Okay. All right. All right. So anyway, uh, so now I'm going to have a. Uh, a uh, guy come in and do a testing on my furniture and everything else. No, because... no, don't waste your time. You got mites. Everybody's got mites. That's just we live with mites on planet Earth. Google this. Uh, uh, are you are you internet? You're, you're internet savvy, yes. right? You're, okay. Google uh, YouTube. Actually, don't look for this YouTube video. You can Google search uh, YouTube. The unknown micro world. Okay? Unknown. The okay. unknown micro world dust mites. And you will see what dust mites look like, and you'll see what they look like on somebody's skin. And you'll see that we all are covered with dust mites. They live in your eyelash, they live in your eyelash follicles. They live on uh-huh. your skin. They're everywhere. You're not going to get rid of dust mites. We live in, in, in a, a, world, a microscopic world. We're macroscopic beings that are existing and interacting with a microscopic world. No. And this microscopic world involves life forms that if you, if you magnified them thousands of times, you'd think that you were in a horror movie, some science fiction nightmare, because that's what these things are. They're, 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 like little, they're like nightmares, but they happen to be very, very tiny, and they live in this microscopic world. You're not getting rid of them. So what you want to do is you want or have your daughter-in-law do is focus on the kid's immune system. And there's a several reasons why you want to do this. Number one, she's predisposed to all kinds of horrible diseases further on down the road, including autoimmune problems, including cancer, including uh, uh, inflammatory diseases, everything she, uh, that you can think of that's degenerative, she's predisposed to. And if your daughter-in-law, the brilliant nurse, thinks that it has to do with the dust mites, she's missing an opportunity to prevent her kid from having to deal with all kinds of horrible things down the road. So uh, I'm just going to tell you a couple things. I'll let you finish up here, Karen. Have your daughter-in-law uh, understand that this is an immune problem. It's an allergy problem. And what she needs to be focusing on is on uh, two, different, uh, two different things. Number one, what is getting into this kid's system that's activating the immune system? And number two, using supplements to build and strengthen uh, the kid's immunity, to build and strengthen the kid's immune system. Hang tight, and we'll let you finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Our number is 855-660-4261. We're coming back at you right after this. Don't go away. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even if I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866.
great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy byproducts from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters. For the love of clean water. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Hi, I'm Ed Krell, CEO of Destination Maternity. We proudly support the March of Dimes work to reduce the rate of premature birth. The numbers have gone down in the past five years, but still, nearly half a million babies are born too soon in the United States each year. We're helping the March of Dimes fund cutting-edge research and community programs to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit MarchofDimes.com. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. We're back on the bright side. We're talking to Karen in Arizona about dust mites. Uh, Karen, I'm going to tell you what you do here to deal with allergies, and it has nothing to do with dust mites. It has to do with the immune system, but let, I want you to finish up. Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What okay. were you saying? Um, in June, of course, I did have a slight sleep problem because we had a lot of rain. I solved the problem, and uh, I used diet to ta- tenacious clay to put all over my carpet and the furniture and you name it. So when they came, she, my granddaughter did heavy vacuuming, which I was not too pleased, but she did it. So then my daughter-in-law, and she said the fleas got into her skin, implanted the, the eggs, and, and that's there for. So then that's what the doctor well, you... in California said. Then so I went ahead, and I had a skin test <clears throat> taken on my dog, and it was uh, free of mice and fleas. Does your dog itching? Is your dog itching and scratching and make? Does your does it look like your dog has fleas? You can yeah, tell if your dog have, has fleas. She did have fleas. So was, they saw, you know. So I solved the problem and I did flea baths and everything else. I did all the treatments for. So I got rid of that and uh, so I had further. They went ahead and had the skin test taken on the dog, free of flea, free clear of fleas and mites. M I T E S. Then she took her to, daughter to my granddaughter to the dermatologist that it was mites, and I thought, well, how can she get mites when my dog was clear of mites? So I may sterilize. Maybe it was dust mites. Now, so now, hang, uh, hang I had on, Karen. Are you Karen? Karen, Karen, Karen. I, I we got a bunch of people who want to talk to us. I can't hear the whole story, but let me ask you thing, something. When you say that, that your daughter-in-law had a or your granddaughter had a problem with mites, you mean a skin problem or she had some kind of breathing problem? A skin problem. Okay, and that's a whole—that's a different thing. I was—I was thinking about a breathing problem that you were talking about, an allergic reaction kind of thing. So, uh, topically, it, there's no way to know exactly what it is. I would be suspicious if you have a, if she has a, a, a history of allergic reactions and immune problems. I would think that she may have some kind of issue, uh, an immune system issue, where her body is producing allergic chemicals in response to something that she either breathed in or she ate. Now, it's, there's no way to really know to, unless you look at the skin and you see that it has, there's like little bumps that almost look like flea bites 
or if it's a, a kind of rashy condition. And that's the only way you're going to know whether it's coming from the inside or coming from the outside. If it's coming from the outside, it'll look like little bites. If it's coming from the inside, it'll look like uh, it'll look rashy. You know what I'm saying? Do you understand that distinction I'm making here? Little yeah. bites versus rashy. What did it look like? Little bites or did it look rashy? It looked like rashy. She had right. like she was itching and all okay. of a sudden they're all over her body. Okay. It wasn't. It didn't look like the little individual kind of raised bumps that almost looked like little bites because that's what flea bites look like and that's what mite bites would look like. They look like little tiny bumps. If it's rashy and there's not a lot of little tiny individual discrete bumps, you're probably looking at an immune reaction. And I'm going that way, especially if she's got a history. So first of all, you want to focus on specific foods. And probably she, your mom, uh, the, her mom, the nurse will know that there's specific foods that are problematic. Secondly, what you want to do is you want to start to strengthen the immune system and the digestive system. There's lots of ways to do that. As far as the digestive system goes, probiotics are the first thing you want to think about. The Biolumin Nightly Essence is your superstar probiotic supplement. Uh, anything you can do to strengthen the digestive tract, including digestive enzymes, apple cider vinegar, lecithin, the amino acid glutamine, zinc, um, essential fatty acids, uh, uh, the glucogel caps. You know, there's a zillion ways you can do this. Uh, Glucosamine, a lot of folks don't realize glucosamine can help strengthen the digestive tract, bone soup. That's another thing that you want to do. Uh, and then uh, building and strengthening the immune system is the, the last strategy, and there's wonderful nutrients for that. Vitamin C can be very helpful for building the immune system. I'd be using four, uh, anywhere from three to four to five grams of it a day. Use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which is loaded with vitamin C. Zinc is your, uh, zinc and selenium are the two most important minerals for the immune system. 50 milligrams of zinc is almost a must-have. It is a must-have for everybody. It's 50 milligrams zinc picolinate a day, around 300 to 600 micrograms of selenium a day. Very important for the immune system. So is magnesium. Get the kid on the healthy start pack. Focus on the digestive system. And I wouldn't be worried too much about dust mites. As I said, as I said before we went to the break, they are all over the place, and you're going to go nuts if you try to uh, uh, take care of uh, take care of um, uh, eliminating things like uh, dust mites. Yeah, you can't get rid of dust mites. They're all over. Thanks so much for your call, Karen in Arizona. Appreciate it. And uh, let's see, Rod in Florida. What's going on, buddy? Yes, uh, Ben. I was wondering if you could tell me if you thought uh, tooth decay is a result of uh, bacteria or yes. is it a result of uh, nutritional mineral deficiency? Oh. Oh. Combination. Bacteria are the immediate cause, but nutritional deficiency, we all have bacteria in our mouth. But it's the combination of acidity and nutritional deficiency that, that, makes, the ma ma that makes matters worse. So uh, first and foremost, when it comes to um, tooth decay, you want to start focusing on why are you making so much acid. Uh, and that usually involves something like uh, the, eating the wrong kinds of foods or perhaps low blood oxygen. Uh, and uh, the best way to make sure that your alkaline is not taking supplements and it's not uh, taking nutrients, the best way to, to make yourself alkaline is to make sure you're breathing correctly. Secondly, mineralization of the teeth is very important. We talked a couple of weeks ago how calcium in saliva can go back and forth between, uh, between the liquid, between the saliva and the teeth. Uh, and this uh, soluble calcium actually is what hardens the teeth. So making sure that you're getting enough calcium in your diet, making sure that you're getting enough magnesium in your diet, making sure there's enough vitamin K in your diet, these can all help strengthen the teeth. And then you can use something like baking soda or something alkaline as a mouthwash that can help reduce acidity in saliva, and that can have a, a beneficial effect on tooth decay as well. And last but most certainly not least, staying away from sticky sugars is very, very important if you're dealing with caries or cavities. Uh, or tooth decay, uh, these sticky sugars can coat the teeth and can act as a substrate or act as food for bacteria. Uh, xylitol, interestingly, I think we've talked about this in the past, xylitol is a sweetener. Uh, it's technically a sugar alcohol, and it has some anti-cavity properties. So using xylitol as a sweetener can be not only a good way to reduce your sugar intake, for, and there's, it's always good to reduce your sugar, sugar intake, but it can also give you a sweetening effect with... Uh, not only without causing dental, uh, without causing tooth decay, but actually with strengthening your teeth, which is kind of neat when you come, when you think about it. You have a sweetener that not only will uh, not cause cavities, it will actually prevent cavities. And oh, bonus! Xylitol is also good for your bones, and xylitol, it, when it's put in a solution and squirted in your nose, can actually have some uh, anti-sinus infection and anti-allergy benefits as well. So you can use uh, xylitol nose. You can use xylitol as a nose spray. You can use it in your ears or in your kids' ears to prevent ear infections because it's got antibacterial properties. It's a sweetener. It'll help wean you off of sugar, and it can also protect your teeth. 
against cavities because of its antibacterial properties. Thanks for your call, Rod. Appreciate it. And uh, let's see if we can get one more call in here. Jay in Texas, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? Hello? Hey, Jay. What's going on? Hey, hey, uh, doctor. Uh, love your show. Thank uh, you. Pharmacist Ben, though. I have, I'm, I'm suffering from glutate psoriasis. Okay. And I have overgrowth bacteria. I got a, I did the breath test. Okay. You got, a pro- you got a digestive problem, big fella. And you probably know that. I don't, I'm not telling you anything new. Psoriasis is an immune condition. It's an inflammatory condition. By the way, gutate psoriasis is when you have these little tiny, uh, little, uh, spots, kind of small, scaly spots that show up on your arms and your legs. Gutate means drop in Latin. What, uh, what, uh, uh where is, where does this show up? By the way, Jay, where in your body? In my chest, in my back, uh, okay. my legs, in my arms. Does it come and go, uh, or is it always there? Well, see, I'm using the the, the steroid creams, and it go it goes away, and then it comes back even stronger. And okay. I wanted to know if should I stop using those creams? Heck yeah, in my, my I'm telling you, you know, just my opinion here. So, if your doctor's listening, which he probably isn't, but if any doctor's listening, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you my opinion. I wouldn't go near a steroid cream unless I was absolutely miserable, and only then, and then I'd only do it in a temporary basis. As we talked about here a few minutes ago, uh, long-term use of steroid creams can, can suppress the adrenal glands. That means it'll suppress your growth and repair hormones, which are made in the adrenal glands. It'll suppress your body's ability to handle stress. It isn't good. It's very, very bad. And the thing is, we don't always think about topical product. We, you know, it's, it's almost intuitive that prescription drugs can be a problem, but we don't always think of topical prescription products as being a problem. But indeed they are. I wouldn't be using it. I'd be figuring out what the heck is going on with my digestive system and my immune system. Get on the elimination diet. Uh, fast for a day or two. Start to introduce foods back into your diet little by little, uh, starting with the, the foods you love the most. Uh, spend the whole day eating a food that you love the most uh, and then see what happens. If that's a problem, eliminate that food and then go on to another food that you like a lot and do it the next day. And, and gradually, you'll, find, you'll be able to eliminate foods and you'll find out what foods are causing the problem. Strengthen your immune, uh, your digestive system and your immune system with probiotics. Get on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Use the Ultimate Enzymes after all your meals. Use apple cider vinegar after, after all your meals as well. Glutamine powder may help you too. I wish we had more time, Jay. If you want to call back tomorrow, uh, I can finish up because i got a lot more uh, a lot more good anti-psoriasis nutritional tips for you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to the Bright Side. Our number, uh, sorry, the Bright Side Ben phone team number is 866-735-2470. Give them a call. Ask them about joining the Bright Side Ben team. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye for now. My name is Frank Bates, and i got a confession to make. Just a few days ago, FEMA went directly to my supplier and tried to buy my entire stockpile of high-quality survival food. It sounds crazy, but I'll show you the exact letter they sent in a minute. Revealing FEMA's plot could land me in hot water, but I think you deserve to know exactly what they're doing. Go to FEMAHatesThis.com to see undeniable video proof that the government is on the hunt for as much survival food as they can grab in 24 hours. Be warned, it's really disturbing because the fact is FEMA must know something we don't. Go to FEMAHatesThis.com to see why survival food is the number one item to hoard right now and why supplies are so low or even completely sold out already at many stores across America. Do it now because I don't know how long it will be online, so go to FEMAHatesThis.com while you can. That's FEMAHatesThis.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. 866-229-0927. Or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com.